To quote Nanako from Persona 4, when two people are fighting, both of them are to blame. Now, the reason why I want to put forward a um, wise quote like this is because it kind of explains to, we'll say, actors perfectly. Now, when I say actors, in this case I mean participants in war. Because honestly, if you have your morals intact, you'd be 100% opposed to war. No matter who the participants are, no matter what the purpose may be, if you purposefully just skirt around any possible peaceful resolution in any way, shape, or form, if you dodge all other options and you just purposefully go to war or you're in any way, shape, or form an instigator of war, you are 100% at fault for this. Especially if you're another actor, we'll say, and you don't make any effort to avoid war and try to reach a peaceful resolution. Granted, sometimes it's infeasible that we have one side or one faction invading or trying to conquer and they're blind or even deaf to any kind of reasoning whatsoever. Your leader is just that much of a fucking scumbag to refuse to listen, then the majority of the blame goes to the one that is invading. <clears throat> now, when I mention the one that's invading, I've, I'm of course talking about Vladimir Putin and his ongoing invasion of Ukraine. To make this perfectly clear, that guy is nothing but a fucking scumbag. That guy is a douche. And he should be resisted at any opportunity, no matter what region you're currently in. Honestly, I'm not too big a fan of U.S. intervention, but if shit hits the fan, I can't blame the U.S. too much, although I'd rather, rather we stay out of war as much as humanly possible. In fact, I'd rather the just war be done and over with. Uh, honestly, if I had my way, the war never would have happened. But, it's ongoing right now, so what can you really know about it? You can't change the past, so... <clears throat> With everything that is going on right now, especially here in the U.S., where the whole thing started, was because Biden was feckle. And he's not mentally there. Well, to say that. He's pathetic, he's feckle, he's fucking weak excuse for a president. I'll, I'll never call him president. Let's be. Let's make that clear. Not a president, but a brutal dictator. I'll get into Biden and why he's awful in more detail in a later video. Trust me, uh, that is coming. Uh, that is a promise. Like I'll, I'll even say it to the camera. I promise you, I'll make a video rant about Biden specifically. <clears throat> his leadership is what allowed Vladimir Putin to invade Ukraine to begin with. But a lot of you fuckheads in the mainstream media, you fucking slimy reporters, want to do everything in your power to hide the truth. You want to, oh, it's a slut, slut. Biden has missing disinformation. We can blame Biden for any other. Oh, shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up.
Biden, in no way, shape, or form, is innocent in this regard. If you want to tell me that Biden isn't to blame for any of this, you, my friend, are far fucking gone as it is. Because I'm going to tell you this straight up front. This shit would not have happened under Donald Trump. I want to make that perfectly clear. Yes, the guy has a bit of a mouth on him. He was kind of boorish, and I didn't like a lot of his tweets, but... But! Putin dared not invade under Trump's leadership. Because that's not the kind of guy you want to trifle with. I mean, the dude squashed fucking ISIS. Of course, Putin would be afraid of that. And I say, good. We wouldn't be seeing this shit right now if Trump were still in office. But we do, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh my god, just... But you want an in the office because, oh my god, he sent me tweets. I'd rather have mean tweets rather than dealing with a Putin invasion. I'm gonna say that right up front. <clears throat> Out of everything going on between Russia and Ukraine, the only thing I can think of I can say negative about Ukraine right now is the fact they're going after people for memes. Oh yeah, you heard that right. Going after people for memes. Now, I can understand if, you know, you're suspecting someone of um, supporting the enemy, which... I can understand the suspicion. You know, like, you gotta interview the one posting the meme and be like, okay, we saw this meme, we think you might be one of these, um, <coughs> treasonous actors. Because, I mean, let's be honest, if you're in one country and you are supporting the enemy of your country, I think that would qualify as treason. Just full interview. Why did you post this meme, and what was your intent? I think that would be the better way to go about it. Granted, I can't 100% fault the, intervie the um, interviewer, I guess you could say, the um, soldiers for the questions that have been asked to these guys. But this makes me feel especially bad for the Ukrainian citizens who all they did was post a meme. <laughs> now, there may be some dissidents who actually support Vladimir Putin within Ukraine, which, yeah, the suspicion makes sense in that respect. To just auto arrest someone over a joke? That's not acceptable. A joke should not land you in jail. I just, I just want to make that perfectly clear now. I don't want to say it one more time, just to make sure I'm perfectly clear on this front. A joke should not land you in jail. Depending on the intent of the joke, I guess if you want to make that argument, go ahead. But how do you know the intent of a joke? How? Do you just assume someone's making a joke and you witch hunt them? <clears throat> it's this kind of situation that has a lot of nuance to it. If they're legitimately supporting the enemy, in this case Putin, <clears throat> or if they're waving a fuck you by being sarcastic. It could be one or the other. 
and it just assume one way or the other. If it's blanket assumption, you're playing your by show. I honest to God wish we can go back to a time where we can be bipartisan about this and really do a deep dive to see if someone's really dissonant. Because this witch hunt mentality it ain't working. <clears throat> it's causing a lot more people to suffer for no reason. <clears throat> I don't have all the answers in, in this. This is a deep and complex issue, especially with the fog of war making things a lot more difficult. But <clears throat> honestly, we should tread very carefully as a result of the aforementioned fog of war. <sighs> That's really all I had to say at the given time. I just want to make this perfectly clear that I do stand with Ukraine on a lot of issues. I do support Ukraine fighting back against Vladimir Putin in his attempt to take it over and make it part of his domain. But I'm not happy over the Ukrainian citizens being under arrest for a joke. Especially since the guy in question had an idea shirt with red and blue. I'm sorry, yellow and blue. Anyway, that's truly all I had to say. <clears throat> like, um, in two days or so, I'll probably go back to streaming uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. I believe I was at the point before entering Colony 6. After failing to defeat that base in Mechon. So, yeah, that, that should be something. Look forward to it. Alright. <coughs> I'll see you guys next time, man. I, honest to God, hope this war ends very soon. Oh, and Vladimir Putin. I doubt you will ever come across this video, but if you come across this video, Putin, fuck you.